Hello student, welcome to GS211 Use of Library, Study Skills and ICT. This video is for study session 4, Library Information Guides. In the previous study session, you learned that the provision of a reference service is, as, is an important function of a library. Library users have different reference queries that need to be solved by the librarian. In summary, Reference materials aid users in their pursuit for quick, ready-made, and factual information needs. In this study session, you will learn more about library information guides, which consist of reference materials, dictionaries, encyclopedias, and other reference materials. On completion of this study session, you should be able to explain the concept of reference materials. You should be able to define Dictionary and align the different types and kinds of a dictionary. You should be able to define encyclopedia. And lastly, you should be able to discuss other reference materials as reviewed in the study session. What is a reference material? Reference materials are, spe are specifically for consultation in the library only and cannot be borrowed or loaned out of the library. Reference materials are in systematic order for easy accessibility. For instance, dictionaries and encyclopedias are arranged alphabetically, while mathematics or scientists are in tabular arrangement, and so on. Uh, then, what are the categories of reference materials? Number one, those materials specifically and directly for consultation only, and those materials that refer to other specific publications. Now, let us look at our special features of reference materials. They are, one, more costly than any other book, two, limited in number, three, highly demanded for, number four, located in a separate area of the library, number five, for consultation of particular uh, information. The next is consulted from time to time and not usually borrowed out of the library. Now, what is a dictionary? A dictionary is a reference book containing an alphabetically uh, an alphabetical list of words with information given for each word, usually including meaning, pronunciation, and etymo uh, etymology. The dictionary assists in giving definition or meaning to words or terms. They are always arranged alphabetically in succeeding letters. There are various examples of dictionary. Uh, pocket dictionary is a dictionary that is small enough to be carried in the pocket. Learner's dictionary is a dictionary specially written for those uh, learning a foreign language. Bilingual, bilingual dictionaries uh, are dictionary given equivalent words in two languages. Then, etymological dictionary is a dictionary giving the historical origins of each word. Unabridged dictionary is a dictionary that is claimed to be complete. Lexicon is the entry in a dictionary uh, of information about the word. Word book is a reference book containing words usually with their meanings. Um, Gazetta is a geographical dictionary, especially at the back of an atlas. Spelling checker is, a, uh, is an electronic dictionary in a word processor that can be used to catch misspelled words. Now, the major functions of a library. One, provide the meaning of words, phrases, and expression. Verify the spelling, syllabication, and uh, explanation of a word. Check the pronunciation of a word. Trace the history of a word, including its origin, derivation, etc. Determine the usage of a word in terms of current, archaic, rear, slang, etc. Indicate major personal names from history. Determine dialect, if any. Provide quotations. Determine antonyms, synonyms, and symbols. Determine abbreviations, acronyms, signs, and symbols. Um, it lists uh, 
foreign items indicate major places such as rivers, mountains, and cities, and so on. Those are the uh, major functions of a library. Now let's look at the types of library. Ah, dictionary. Number one, language dictionaries. Dictionaries could be uh, monolingual, written with only one language for, for instance, the new Universal Unabridged Dictionary or the Oxford uh, English Dictionary. It could also be bilingual. Those written with two languages, good examples are French English Dictionary, Russian English Dictionary, German English Dictionary, among others. The last is a multilingual that is written with three or more languages. Example, abandon English, French, German a dictionary, dictionary of nuclear science and technology in six languages, English, Spanish, Italian, Dutch, German, French. Those are the six languages. Now, technical subject dictionaries. This type of dictionary gives, uh, they give meanings of words or terms in relation to specific uh, vocations. They are uh, technical subject dictionaries as they give emphasis on specialized terms. For instance, Chamber Dictionary of Science and Technology, McGraw-Hill Dictionary of Scientific and <clears throat> Te uh, Technical Terms, Dictionary of Mathematics, Dictionary of Geography, and so on. <clears throat> now, dictionaries of biography. The Dictionary of Biography gives the alphabetical listing of famous people with short biographies on each, often giving details of their major uh, published works and a bibliography of writings among, uh, about them. For example, we have Dictionary of Scientific Biography, um, Biography, Dictionary of Scientists, and so on. Now, Dictionaries of Abbreviation. The dictionary deals with acronyms, which is names formed from initial alphabets and shortened forms of words and other abbreviations often used without uh, definition. For example, acronyms, initialism, uh, dictionary, um, word guide for abbreviation of organizations, and so on. Now, encyclopedia is this with the summary of the whole body of uh, human knowledge. They are arranged alphabetically and are numbered on sequential order. An encyclopedia is a medium of, uh, is a compendium of knowledge, whether general or specialized. A general encyclopedia contains the information, uh, informational articles on all areas of knowledge. Now, what are the functions of encyclopedia? One, it gives facts. Two, it provides ideas of a particular period. Three, it gives different viewpoints in a particular topic. Number four, it provides valuable bibliographies attached to the principal articles. And number five, the last but not the least, it gives illustration, especially uh, children encyclopedia with colored uh, illustration. Now, let's look at uh, other reference materials. There, yeah, I'll be looking at directories. A directory contains the list of names and address of persons, organizations, institutions, and business concerns in an area, town, or even a country in an alphabetical order. Now, what is an handbook? Handbooks are reference books dealing with specific or particular subjects useful for quick reference information. They are sketchy, uh, and not voluminous with no details, and handbooks are published by professional association or institution. Pertinent examples of handbooks are handbook of engineering, handbook of uh, time thermodynamics. Now, let's look at manuals. We are considering other reference materials. Now let's look at manuals. Manuals are reference books, somehow related to handbooks because they are handy and however, they provide detailed information about a particular area or subject. Thesis. Thesis is a research work carried out solely or jointly by a scholar in partial fulfillment of an academic degree. 
beyond the bachelor. They are significant segments of the literature of all fields as they record concentrated research. Now, let's look at two more uh, reference materials. Dissertation. Dissertation is a lengthy formal treatise, especially one written by a candidate for the doctoral degree uh, at the university. Now, the last one we'll be looking at, but not the least, is conference proceedings. Conference proceedings give an example uh, opportunity to find out about the most recent developments in the field and to, uh, to take notes of expert reviews and are commonly regarded as more helpful for the contact information effectively available at a particular time. Uh, students, here is the end of uh, this video. Thank you for listening. See you in the next class.